Hyperbolic discounting is uh, a much talked about um, uh, cognitive bias uh, in, uh, that we, in behavioral finance. Um, what is hyperbolic discounting? What it really means is that people typically intend to forfeit small immediate gains for larger rewards in the future, but when they, when they have to make the decision, they often fail to make the optimal decision at that, at that time. That is, the decision maker values the small immediate reward more than the larger future reward. That is, would you prefer a dollar today or three dollars tomorrow or three dollars a year from now? Um, you, uh, we find that we find that the people tend to say, uh, "I will discount the uh, the future value, the future greater value." to present value and it's uh, it's called hyperbolic discounting because that discounting essentially brings us back to what is the value today you completely discount it so um, uh, how is this how is this relevant well uh, let me talk about a, a, a different concept uh, or related concept for a second that is um, in the future willpower is um, irrelevant in the future we always do the right thing or what's perceived uh, generally is the right thing. In the future we always eat better. In the future we uh, weigh less. In the future we work out more. We save more. We invest um, in more equity if that's what your value system is. And, uh, uh, but uh, when, when, when decisions uh, have to be made today and they're going to impact us immediately, um, we tend to uh, return to um, to um, what we just what we prefer to do at that time. For example, there's a famous example of um, of uh, people were asked to decide um, at a at a at a uh, business conference uh, what would you like to be your um, your break time snack uh, a week from now. You can have, choose between sweets uh, or more nutritious uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, uh, and then a, P, a separate group was asked, what if the decision is not going to affect you a week from now, but is going to affect the break coming up in 20 minutes? We found that uh, when the decision um, was uh, going to affect you or, or was, was framed as being a week from now, that people tended to pick the more uh, nourishing snack, fruits and vegetables, and much less likely to pick uh, the candies and sweets. Uh, however, if when people were told your snack uh, choice will be uh, delivered to you within 20 minutes at the break, uh, people almost uh, completely switched over to picking the, the sweets and the candy uh, over the nutritious snack. It's just we tend to, um, we tend to uh, look at what affects us uh, immediately and um, uh, as opposed to uh, looking out into the future. This is an important issue, particularly uh, when it um, relates to uh, retirement savings. That is, um, we can talk to people about how their savings uh, dollars they're putting away today are going to be worth five times, ten times more by the time they retire. However, the, 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 the participant or the employee tends to look at that and say, I'm going to discount hyperbolically that uh, five time gain in the future 40 years from now let's say back to present value and now my putting money away into the into the savings plan is actually perceived as a loss that um, I have um, less um, uh, spending power there's less immediate gratification that I can have uh, and so hyperbolic discounting can be extremely powerful in, um, in causing us to make uh, suboptimal uh, decisions because we're forfeiting um, the uh, what we typically intend to forfeit small immediate gains for larger rewards in the future but uh, we often fail to make uh, the optimal choice at decision time.